And you know, uh, stand here in front of this portrait, the man behind me here, he, uh, he said, and I want to make sure I get the quote exactly right, he said that you could take the five worst presidents in history and put them together and they would not have done the damage that I have done in just 15 months. And he's right. What's up guys, boy Benny. The best part about covering modern politics is that it always gets more entertaining. Potentially three debates between Joe Biden and Donald Trump got minted yesterday. Don't ever for a single second think that this is because Joe Biden thinks he's in a strong position. This is because Joe Biden's in a weak position. Based on all available polling, Joe Biden is going to lose in a landslide. They have to do something drastic to turn it around. If Joe Biden was ahead right now, they wouldn't be debating. They don't want Joe Biden to debate. Joe Biden has dementia. They're doing their very, very best to try and make sure that we know that Joe Biden has dementia by releasing videos Trump like this. lost two debates to me in 2020. And since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Yeah, okay. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. I still can't. I still can't get over that line. Well, that is that there's no court on Wednesdays. So this is Joe Biden legitimately making a joke about the fact that they're trying to lock Donald Trump up in prison. What a deep and abiding jack wagon that guy is. Make my day, pal. Got it. Nah. Uh, said uh, people were very quick to uh, explain on the internet that um, Joe Biden needed five cuts to make it through 13 seconds of the video. Joe Biden's video has five cuts in 13 seconds. What will Joe Biden do in a debate when his handlers can't edit and splice his sentences together? Actually, this is one of my favorite. <laughs> this is one of my favorite videos on the internet. Make my day, pal. Plus two debates to me in 2020. <laughs> Since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. <laughs> I'll even do it twice. Okay, that's really, that's really good. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, Donald Trump says yes. Uh, Donald Trump said he's going to debate. Donald Trump, uh, by the way, is not in for a fair fight. Apparently, Joe Biden wants no audience, no RFK, no Trump remarks during Biden answers. Only Biden-friendly outlets can anchor and moderate the debates. So Biden is a coward. Donald Trump has accepted, however, two debates uh, and is pushing for a third with Fox News, one on CNN, one on ABC News. Donald Trump says, let's get ready to rumble. Uh, and Donald Trump saying, let's see if Joe Biden can make it to the stand-up podium. <laughs> but that's not the greatest troll from Joe Bi uh, from Donald Trump to Joe Biden, given this debate news cycle. This video that Donald Trump posted on his Truth Social is actually the best troll. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a work of art. Regularly taunting Joe Biden. On, Joe, let's do it. Anywhere, anytime, any place. And since he said that, I guess he's going to have to abide by the stupid rules that they set on CNN for no audience. The reason why they set those rules is because the last time Donald Trump was live on CNN, he was able to manipulate, not manipulate, he was able to win the audience over to his side by being an excellent debater and also having a magnanimous personality. Happened on that day. He you said did you not weren't, say that. You, he has testified that, Mr. He President. He did not say that. But you said you weren't very involved that day. You did tell your supporters to come to Washington. You tweeted about it, about sure, that speech course. that happened on the rally. Am I so allowed when to they, say that? When they went to the Capitol and they were breaking into the Capitol, smashing windows, injuring police officers, why did, you, why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Oh, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Look at everyone up Can I, Do you mind? I would like for you to answer the question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to You're a nasty person, I'll tell you. Ooh, baby. Okay, so we're really glad that Kate Land Collins. Mr. President. 
Let me do pain and in. I'm so glad that Kate Land Collins will not be actually doing this interview. Unfortunately, uh, what they got is not much better. You got weepy, crying, bitchy Jake Tapper sitting, going to be sitting there as a moderator along with Dana Bash. National security this what, laws. This is what Jake Tapper did uh, when they were li- there was a live feed of Donald Trump getting happy uh, And then obstructing and refusing to cooperate with the FBI. Yeah, uh, whatever this spectacle is that's unfolding before us, let's remember what this case is about. Let's remember what this indictment charges. Again, Donald Trump is charged with a series of federal felonies for mishandling the most sensitive government documents that we have and for obstruction of justice, along with Walt Nauta, who is charged with intentionally setting up lies to the grand jury, to the FBI. Any way you look at this, and again, despite whatever may be going on in that restaurant, this case isn't going to be settled legally in a cafe. It's going to be settled in the court based on the facts and law. The folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. He's trying to turn this in. (laughs) He's trying to turn it into a spectacle, into a campaign ad. I don't need to see any more. <laughs> salt that lib yeah salt salt the lib ladies and gentlemen he had it he burst into tears jake tapper bursts into tears and has a has a meltdown when uh anything positive of joe biden was being shown the best part of the cnn debate is that there will be no live audience says uh recently fired cnn uh doofus chris saliza Live audiences have been ruining political debates for years. They've been ruining political debates. She shouldn't let people talk. Don't let people talk. We absolutely nuked Chris Eliza, um and ratioed him into the sun. Uh, last time CNN did a town hall, Trump won them over. This is exactly why CNN and Biden are terrified of having one. Uh, Joe Biden also getting major pushback today because he says he's going to be taking his plane. I'll bring my plane too. Uh, yeah, it's not your plane, you dumb jack wagon. I'll bring my plane really says it all. It's not your plane. The college intern X writer isn't, is, isn't good at the snarky. It's his plane. The one that you stumbled up is our plane. Yeah, that's right. Donald Trump actually has his own plane. It sounds like Joe Biden is planning on stealing America's plane. Maybe he should be charged for that. Uh, I can, I can think of a couple, couple of jurisdictions that you could probably bring charges against Joe Biden. And uh, Joe thinks that air force one belongs to him personally. You lived off the hard works of Americans your entire career. It's our plane, you dirty, dirty grifter. So we look forward to this. And again, it's better than no debates, I suppose. So sometimes you've got to take what you can get. It's going to be entertaining no matter what. And those are the rules, ladies and gentlemen, for 2024. I can always get more entertaining. Uh, Stay entertained on this channel. It's your boy, Benny. See you.